Here we are clothesline, a show where we string them up, put them to dry and wring them clean on the clothesline. The past week, the media carpet bombed us with Police Commissioner Neeraj Kumar's success on catching the cricketers spot fixing with bookies. Why so much noise? That's not fair. Failure hota hai to itna shore. To success hota hai to double shore hona hi chahiye. Kyunke itna kam hota hai. Kuch vakilo ne kaha ki police ne ye jo press conference ki clips chala ke dikhai, transcripts padha ke sunai, ye nahi karna chahiye tha. Ye to media trial ho raha hai. Ye to keval ek court me jaake police ko apna case rakhna chahiye tha. Aisa faisla apne ki. Kyunke koi vishwas nahi karta. Hamari baat par koi vishwas nahi karta. Okay, he said it. We are not saying it. Koi vishwas nahi karta. Abhe, hume vishwas kyu nahi hai? This is unfair. Perhaps Delhi police attacking peaceful protesters might ring a bell? People being pushed, women and kids being pushed, you know, the police is trying to make and trying to stop them. And Rahul patiently tries to explain to the police commissioner the disconnect the women of Delhi felt with authorities who gave no indication of providing the safety and security required to roam around the city. Instead of announcing an increase in the police force, zero tolerance for men harassing women, we got lati charged. Because you were the team's leader, the team is not the people who are coming to the people, 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 who are coming to the water cannon. And you were thinking at that time that you were going to be able to do the men in your force. The police commissioner seems to believe that if he caught the rapist, threw them in jail, that was enough. It shows the deep, deep miscomprehension the protesters were not there to protest against the police. They were protesting the lack of action by the government to protect them in their lives. If he understood that, empathized with the protesters, actually lived their slogan, Aapke liye, Aapke saath, there would have been no violence. This is the problem. Another era, archaic thinking. Police stereotyping themselves, believing only that if there are protests, they must on auto format shoot tear gas shells and lati charge people. Why did they not respond with empathy, stood up with and by the protesters? In fact, as police commissioner, he could have asked the government to increase the police force to protect the city. The protesters would have supported him. Can you imagine the force multiplier? The police commissioner along with the citizens of Delhi demanding more security? Drugs, hai, parties, hai, fixing. Hai. Or ma bhi hai. <laughs> Mothers, Bharat ki maa, stop bringing up your sons to believe they can grab whatever they want whenever they want. It's your fault. This idealized Indian mother, get your act together and straighten out your sons and teach them dirty money is not acceptable. And then that old story trotted out with Ankit Chavan's brother blaming Chandila. Matlab, hamara ladka sharif hai, bas company kharaab hai. Well, haven't we heard that one before? Wo aisa kuch nahi kasata, hamko itna vishwas hai. And the brother saying that he's passionate for the game, he also told Headlines Today reporters that it was at the behest of Ajit Chandela who might have landed his brother in this entire mess. I have received messages on the SMS congratulating me and the Delhi police. I'm sure uh, members of the public would uh, appreciate our good work. Shows how fickle the media is. Some months ago, they wanted him to resign and hang him up to dry. Now they want to give him a gallantry award for catching three royal losers. But thodi tarif to banti hai. After all, he had to go through 100 hours of taped phone conversation to get to the bottom of the muck and bring out really, really incriminating details. These indications were in the form of, say, you wear a, you know, you rotate your watch or you put on your towel um, in your trousers or you spend some time setting the field and give indications to the players and or take out your locket or chain from your shirt or take out both the shirts and the vest that you are wearing. What? Wearing watches, doing warm-up exercises and wearing a towel so you could earn 60 lakhs? When will number come? With all the coverage on the cricketers and bookies, pot fixing, all the crazies are out. Wait, alleged crazies to be safe. 
in spite of all the scandals, betrayals and controversies, if the parliament can still be sacrosanct, why call the IPL PAP League? <laughs> okay, that's what's going around. IPL is now PAP League, thanks to Sidhu's tweet. <laughs> Rajdeep's opening was great. Outrage, fury, dismay, heartfelt. And it's been a day which has shaken India's most enduring religion. The god of cricket has been defiled by greed. Three players in the IPL, including a test player, have been arrested for spot fixing. Worse, the game we love so much is facing a serious credibility crisis, as is the Indian Premier League. Is this simply the tip of the iceberg or is it a rare opportunity to clean up the multi-million dollar game? That's the big question that we will raise tonight on what's been a sad, sad day for Indian cricket. Rajdeep got tough with the incumbent president of the BCCI, N. Srinivasan. This is something we will not tolerate, you know. Ma'am, Mr. Srinivasan, you can say that you will not to tolerate and strict action will be taken, but we've seen in the past that the BCCI has not been consistent when it has come to this issue. Has the time come, that moment a player is found, a life ban is given. We have players who are accused of, uh, uh, of fixing and then they find their way back into the game. There has been a feeling that the board has been weak on this. Will a life ban now be done and will that be a deterrent? Rajdeep gets a wishy-washy cliche answer from Srinivasan. Rajdeep goes after him again. Sir, you say you will not tolerate it, but it has been a decade since the original match fixing, more than a decade, an ex-captain of the Indian team was involved. It appears the players have not learned a lesson. It appears that there is no fear of what the BCCI will do. It seems that your anti-corruption bureau in particular has been completely ineff ineffective to stop match fixing. Rajdeep gets his teeth in and doesn't let go. You keep saying we will act, but those are very fine words. I've been hearing this from Indian cricket administrators ever since match fixing was exposed over a decade ago, we will act. How is this action going to translate on the ground given the fear that spot fixing is difficult to spot and many believe is almost rampant now across the world. Then Rajdeep gets in the ring with Lalit Modi, former commissioner of IPL, living in exile in London like some other subcontinental statesman. Dal mein kuch kala hai. There have been question marks over auction. There have been question marks over conflict of, of, of ownership. You know the, the, the Chennai Super Kings case and uh, which you've highlighted. But have you done anything are, about it? No, no. There have, have been you done anything my about it? My point is there, a, there have been conflicts of interest the, involving second, you and mark, your alleged involvement second, with Rajasthan mark. Royals, Kings Eleven, Kolkata Knight Riders. The problem is from again, day again, one. Again, this again, tournament again, is on again, weak foundations. Rajdeep. Radeep, yes. Radeep, hear yourself. Please, yes. please hear yourself. You yes. keep saying alleged involvement. I had alleged involvement with Rajasthan Royal, alleged involvement with King XI, alleged by the way, yes. has not been proven. There is an involvement of Srinivasan in Chennai Super Kings. There is no alleged. It is there. What are you doing about that? Uh, you're talking about mine being alleged. Mine is the case alleged. It's already been proven. What about the auctions? Do. But when you come to a person who already has, yes, you know, and and you see the BCCI, the IPL, the ICC run out of Chennai. Global cricket is run out of Chennai in the manner what they are doing. I can't understand. Now you're blaming, you're telling me that I, sh I have created a monster. Lovely. More of the same old, same old corruption in Congress party who then point their fingers at the BJP, who point their fingers back at the Congress. Meanwhile, we the public can only watch and be told we get the government we deserve. Now we'll be told we get the cricket we deserve. Rajiv then leads a discussion on the IPL scandal. He starts with Harsha Bhogle, who is still tough to recognize with his new crop of hair. Harsha, let me start with you. It's a sad day at the end of, uh, end of it, but do you believe that this is a day where Indian cricket needs to wake up to that ugly reality that stares us. We can no longer be romantic about cricket. Now we know Rajdeep's true love. Cricket. Who can argue with true love? My heart but something, broke. My something heart broke. broke today. My heart something broke. Something broke today and it, went, broke. and it went unacknowledged by the board that runs this That's game. That's a good point. Or the, or That's the, a good uh, point. I, I, a lot of us are heartbroken today. I wish the board was half as heartbroken as us. Harsha, I'm going to give you the final word. What are you going to do to make my heart feel a bit better when I go to sleep tonight? The game that I've loved and grown up with is not, not a game just made up of, uh, of people who, uh, who uh, throw matches or throw their performance. What, what, can, what is the recipe you are offering today to a broken heart? Is there a recipe for a broken heart? Please, no rebound romance. That does not work. Rajdeep, grieve. 
don't go don't go searching for something that will make you feel good we must grieve enough we must be angry enough is there any story in india that we cover that is not heartbreaking and guess who else was deeply deeply emotionally involved our favorite or no taking a break from fighting the war with pakistan for us or no was now at war with the corruption in cricket so is cricket his first love or second love after war with pakistan we shall see Arnab's introduction to the debate was a classic Arnab. Is it teeny weeny or is it big? Is it small or is it huge? Is it colossal or is it massive? In other words, is it bigger than a war with Pakistan? Now at this point of time there are two ways of looking at it. This is not an IPL problem, it is an IPL problem. It's a limited problem, it's a bigger problem. And he has his favorite punching bag, Sanjay Jha, this time not representing Hamara Congress. but in his original avatar of cricket expert but there's no escaping or not someone said today that the pawan bansal defense also applies to these players because pawan bansal didn't take any money on his own one there are phone conversations wiretaps in pawan bansal's case and in shrishan's case you've been defending pawan bansal and friends and family by the way come up in pawan bansal's case friends and family of shrishan also come up he slams him with both the congress scandal along with the corruption in cricket so by that logic like you defended pawan bansal will you defend shrishan tonight double whammy here i have been a great believer that ipl has created a monster in cricket this is a monster i have created a monster monster who's the monster here bcci ipl rajiv shukla srinivasan mojo jojo ipl tends to offer more opportunities which is why it seems that ipl is the breeding ground it certainly does offer so many more opportunities you know if you've got so some 75 odd games in a span of about 40 days i mean it's a bonanza you walk into a mall and <coughs> then you see suddenly so much stuff there you want this you want this you want this you get everything out of it did he mean just plain greed all the things we are talking about tonight everybody says oh we have known about this for long time we've known about the underworld we know about huge amounts of money being bet we know about spot fixing going on you know we know they, that the matches are following a certain pattern we know it's not looking believable or oh, no we know you know it all you have to rub it in even though there was so much on cricket fixing on so many channels on so many debates with so many should we can be with any stretch of the imagination call them experts okay fine not all were experts on cricket or law or sports administration or being in the right place at the right time but even so did anyone get any clarity on what happened that's the thing about ornobs debates you can enjoy it even if you don't understand anything like music like a choir like opera it's most fun when at least three people speak together one 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 second you want to understand watch it watch it watch it watch it but then the viewers need to actually get some insight on what the whole cricket conundrum is and that's why we figured we might as well get the biggest star on the planet to explain the situation take it away mr bachan i can't understand this what's your question no no what 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 one minute what one minute one minute in the year 1929 sir when india was playing against australia in melbourne city vijay merchant and vijay hazare they were at the crease and vijay merchant told vijay hazare look vijay hazare this is a very prestigious match and you must consider this match very carefully so considering the consideration that vijay hazare gave vijay merchant vijay merchant told vijay hazare that ultimately we must take a run and when they were striking the ball on the leg side sir the consideration came into an ultimatum and ultimately vijay hazare went to vijay merchant oh, oh shut up similarly sir in the year 1979 when india was playing against pakistan in vakhade stadium bombay Wasim Raja and Wasim Bari they were at the crease and Wasim Bari gave the same consideration to Wasim Raja and Wasim Raja told Wasim Bari look sir this ultimately has to end in a consideration which i cannot consider therefore the consideration that you are giving me must be considered very ultimately therefore the run that they were taking Wasim Raja told Wasim Bari Wasim Bari you take a run and ultimately both of them ran and considerately they got out okay okay sir mere is samany gyan par aapko kuch vishesh tippani karni hai and guess vishesh tipani kon dega apna or no i know you love the game no this is no, not no i know you love the game and so do i wow and that my dear is as much clarity as you will get on this nexus in this lifetime at the end of the day the penalty is a life ban i will poopoo your life ban speaking of poopoo there's someone who seems to be staying away from poopoo for a while because the bathroom is just not big enough if you miss the story Sri Shant is apparently so depressed about the dimensions of the bathroom in the police station that he just isn't willing to take a shower or use the toilet. 
either that or nobody is giving him a towel actually we don't need a transition here i'm talking on the same subject poo the congress party's self hooting campaign about how great they are began with the bharat nirman ads this week on all the good work the congress party is doing included in these gems is that they have now organized village squads who snoop around looking for people pooing in the open no one in india is allowed to poo outside the village squad as they call them will come and grab you please tell me if you the congress party had built enough toilets in villages in the multitude of generations you have been in power why would anyone want to poo in the open first give us the toilets then spend money on village squads it would only take a village to arrive around parliament poo in the open until their villages were given toilets it would just take a village and a lot of stink to introduce our congress to the realities of life in india jaau kaha bataye dil duniya badi hai sang dil now let's look at what our bharat nirman the congress party and the expensive advertising company getting the 180 crore account up to according to party spokesperson meem afzal 100 crores will be spent on the Bharat Nirman advertisement campaign which will run through this year into April May next year is this taxpayers money just asking score kya hua haan ji score score kya score hoga uncle batting pitcher bhai sahab ne bowling le li hai aur upar se sirf ek part tak spinner leke utre hai maidan mein hadd hai actually captain ne aap se nahi pucha na kya karna chahiye nahi ji unne bookie se pucha और किससे पूछेगा देखिए भाई साहब हम लोग तो आम चेयर क्रिटिक्स हैं। जब देश में पहली बार कंप्यूटराइजेशन आया लोगों ने क्या क्या बाउंसर नहीं मारे कहा ले डूबेंगे नौकरियां नहीं रहेंगी और आज देखिए इन भाई साहब का टिकट तक ये मोबाइल पर है एज वी ऑल नो द इंटरनेट एंड टेलीकॉम इंडस्ट्री डिड एक्सट्रीमली वेल वेन द गवर्नमेंट वॉज नॉट इन द गेम एज सुन इज दे स्टेप इन ऑल हेल्प ब्रोक लूज अलॉन्ग विद in the corruption akhra nangal dam to yaad hai na janab kitne jhoote pade the sarkar ko kehte the ki pani se bijli khinchoge to pani ki taakat khatam ho jayegi aur isi ne green revolution ka sikshar laga diya dams yes but if built humanely in the narmada area over 1 million people were displaced and their livelihoods affected by living away from the river if the government had taken care of that no problem but they didn't and there was corruption even in the rehabilitation that the bharat nirman ad does not tell you and what happened to the green revolution in two days 94 farmers will commit suicide about 600 will attempt it six to seven times the number of people who succeed will actually attempt suicide if you take the period between 1991 census to 2001 census 8 million farmers have quit farming that's about 2200 a day that are quitting farming वैसे राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन तो दिया है सरकार ने सॉरी मैडम सरकार ने नहीं दिया आरटीआई हमारा हक है और अरुणा रॉय और अरविंद केजरीवाल ने 10 साल काम करके उनसे निचोड़ा है सब सरकार की तरफ से बैटिंग कर रहे हैं क्या नहीं बेटा इंडिया की तरफ से राइट हाउ कुड वी एवर फॉरगेट द इंडिया इज इंदिरा इंदिरा इज इंडिया कैंपेन अब तू ही बता इंडिया जीत रहा है कि नहीं जीत रहा है अंकल माइंड इट अंकल Last time a political party tried to sell us shining India the sun was no longer shining for them the BJP reportedly spent between 500 to 700 crores for ads please learn the indian public has bullshit meters stuck on their heads and these meters run on our own power not the kind you send us with power cuts simple question Did Sanjay that break down and cry when hundreds of people died because of the blast? Court ne ghar ke khane aur gadde ki maang jo Sanjadat ne arzi ke zariye rakhi thi usse maan liya maan liya hai. This media crowd is insane, pushing Sanju Baba around like that. Yeah, you can call them hooligans, but have you ever faced an editor when you've come back without footage for a story? Nokri ka sawal hota hai. Media ne Sanju Baba ka gussa nahi dekha. Main to yahi dal dunga tere ko. Sorry. मीडिया वालों ने संजू बाबा का गुस्सा देखा है बेटा बोला ना तो भेजा टेबल पे उतार दूंगा साले। As Sanjay reminded us in Munna Bhai, there is honor in going to jail, but wasn't that for the freedom struggle? बराबर खोपड़ी में कॉन्फ्यूज हो गया अरे मर्डर करके तू अंदर आता तो तेरा इज्जत बढ़ता था क्या और फिर राइट काम करके आठ दस बार अंदर आएंगे तो मरने के बाद अपना भी पुता लगेगा पार्क में अपना फोटो होगा हर नोट पर But after coming out with all his forces in tow, which means Mahesh Bhatt and someone called Bunty Walia, who looks like a bouncer, but I'm told he's a film producer, Sanju Baba had to make do with becoming a supporting cast for the day's prime time news, Makia. 
because let's not forget, someone else took top billing by the time evening came. We don't know who to trust anymore. We can't trust the CBI officers investigating Colgate. They are taking bribes. We can't trust the BCCI because they do a cover-up. We can't trust the IPL players because they've been thoroughly exposed. We can't trust the politicians because their history is one of cover-ups and they've got their fingers in too many pies. Who does this country trust anymore? Under mentioned everyone, but guess who he left out? Who does the Indian public not trust anymore? Us, the media, journalists. In the entire scam, there's a person called Dawood involved. Yeah. A terrorist is involved. My nation, my cricket, my sport has been taken over by an underworld don. There seems to be a fair bit of love, sex and dhoka in this game. Right. Atul Vasan, I'm very sorry. No, no, I'm very sorry, Atul Vasan. You'll say I'm a little opinionated on this. No, no. We will not say you are a little opinionated on this. You are deeply, greatly, massively, hugely opinionated on everything. That's why we love you. The players have brought this upon themselves. Lie detector test and entrapment to be instituted by the ICC. And what put it out. What a That's pathetic it. suggestion. What yeah. a pathetic suggestion. So what, we're going to treat our players like criminals? Yeah, so the uh, uh, because no, said that. And they're I not, found they're not the time. kindergarten no, children. Brought... I'm getting a little confused here. They are not criminals, but they've been arrested and they are in jail. They're not kindergarten children. But their mummies are saying, leave my baby alone. The only thing missing is, they are so cute. Ugh, give me a break. We did that about a no, thousand please, times. Please, do you, no, do, sir, you, sir, do you want to tell me yeah, I want that whatever being discussed here, this should be the decision in the matter? So if there is no point discussing it, there is no point discussing it. Sir, 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 because today's scam, Why today? once I want to no one say one country, yeah. I'm a frightened man today. Because today's scam, Why today? once I want to work, no one say one country, no one say one country. Shobha Day writes bestsellers that have her dancing all the way to the bank, and she has millions of followers. A large part, I would guess, are young women who idolize her. Okay. So what did she tweet about Angelina Jolie's announcement that she had undergone a double mastectomy? Angelina Jolie's dramatic mastectomy sounds a little too radical. In India, we believe in karma. Nobody can preempt, cheat or avoid fate, says her tweet. You could laugh, but we shouldn't. Millions of women follow her and that's great. One more successful woman as far as I'm concerned and that is wonderful. But when Shobha Day advocates what sounds like an illiterate, ignorant, okay, lady, not woman, a misleading misinterpretation of karma, that dangerously puts women at risk by ignoring the necessity to get tests and simple self-exams and exhorts them to put their lives in the hands of fate, I would not so humbly ask her to correct herself. Did you vaccinate your children or leave them to their karma? Do you refuse medicine or treatment and leave yourself to karma? Preventive medicine is far more important than landing up in a hospital in a dying state. And lastly, Shobha tweeted, We in India, excuse me, some humility is in order here. You do not speak on behalf of all the women of India. Why don't you correct that tweet too? Jolie's was a radical decision, but I believe in karma. I cannot preempt, cheat or avoid fate. Now what about Shobha's karma for writing those trashy books? Karma comes back full circle. And my karma for being mean to Shobha and saying all that? That's a wrap for the week. Till next week, we'll keep track of you while you keep track of what's happening. If you have any moments from journalism which made you go, oh wow, or oh shit, email them to us or tweet to us. Be the change, stay connected, stay online.